Happy Valentine's Day! Welcome back, it's Jaeger262 with another World of Tanks update. This isn't an event, but there is news. First things first, the Lova is being sold with a special skin, or you could just buy the skin separately if you already have the Lova. As part of World of Tanks, Lova is all you need. Now, the skin is called the Anhalt Lion, and it looks like this. It is a 3D style, so add it an MG34, I believe, on the top. But the special Valentine's Day stuff, there's some blankets, a picnic basket, and some boxes, another quilt, some flowers. On the barrel, there is to my Valentine with a kill mark, or I should say multiple kill marks of enemy vehicles next to a heart. And on the other side is, of course, Cupid lining up his arrow with the gun. So if you have the Lova and want to spice it up, oh, and there's a tarp on the front. But if you have the Lova and want a 3D style for this vehicle, it's going to cost $15 in America. Or you can get this entire bundle if you don't have the Lova, like myself, for $55. Now, that is the cost of the Lova normally. So you're basically getting the skin for free if you do it that way. Of course, you can just buy an unskinned version of the Lova if you want to, again, for $55. And there's a couple of other bundles there as well if you really like this premium tank or are interested in it. Now, that's not all for Valentine's Day. Starting today and going through the weekend, all the way to Monday, basically, the entire weekend is Valentine's Day weekend. In World of Tanks, that means you will get times 4 XP for the first win. Tier 8 to Tier 10 vehicles are on sale for 15% off. So if you just go into the tech tree, if there's any high price vehicles you've been looking for, you can buy them now at a discount. And I lost a little bit. Oh, but this is part of the special. The Valentine 2, the Matilda Black Prince, and the Matilda Mark IV are all going to be on sale for gold the actual vehicles in the store are not on sale but if you buy them in game you will get a 75 percent discount on these vehicles for the remainder of the event event custom style elements that's camouflage decals effects which is battle damage or battle worn emblems inscriptions paint any customizations are 50 percent off their gold cost as well as a special valentine's day mission which gives you Five chocolate, three automatic fire extinguishers, three large first aid kits, and three large repair kits. And all you have to do is play a battle. Any vehicle counts, tier 1 to tier 10. Any battle counts. And you just do it once, and you get the mission for today. So, not a lot, but something special at the very least. If you have the Lova, new skin for you guys. If you want to pick up the Valentine 2 the Matilda 4, the Matilda Black Prince, you can do that. I have the Matilda Mark IV. It's actually a really strong tier five medium tank. I had the Black Prince, it was okay. Let's see if I can find them so I can show them to you guys. So yeah, 250 gold is the discounted price for the Valentine and then 438 gold for the Matilda Black Prince. I don't know what the original cost is for the Matilda Mark IV, but I would imagine it's around the same as the Black Prince of 480 gold. All are really interesting and unique vehicles. The Matilda Mark IV is incredibly powerful for its tier as a light tank. It plays like a medium tank with armor to match. The Matilda Mark IV, uh, I want to say Mark IV because it is, but I'm getting tripped up on the tier 5. It's a tier 5 version of the Matilda, which means you basically just have, yeah, I don't know why I did that. You get a 75 millimeter gun and, of course, the armor of a Matilda. So for meeting tier 6 opponents, this thing's not that great, but the gun handling is a little bit better than most Russian mediums. And when you see tier 5 or tier 4 opponents, that armor still checks out. That's kind of the same thing for the Matilda Black Prince, just in the opposite direction. Instead of having a better hard-hitting gun, it has a very light gun. It's the QF 6-pounder Mark V. I want to say it's on... The Crusader. Not the Cromwell, but you do start the Cromwell with this gun, and of course it has a Cromwell turret. So an interesting Franken tank. Um, of course the Matilda was sold to the Russians, that's how we got the Mark IV, but this is a different scenario where instead of selling it, they kept him on the line for some reason without outfitting Cromwells or even building them and just gave it the turret. Why they would do that, no idea. But same thing as 
or I should say it's the Black Prince turret, which is an up-armored version of the Cromwell turret for the Black Prince heavy tank, so my mistake. But essentially, same thing as Matilda Mark IV, armor is going to be the same as the Tier 4 version, so at Tier 6, not very effective, at Tier 4 and Tier 5, which is the bulk of the enemies you will see, incredibly effective, the difference being the gun's a little less accurate, but fires incredibly rapidly. Incredibly rapid. <laughs> 27 rounds per minute, it's pretty crazy. Two second reload time, quite a strong tank. I used to have it way, way, way back in the day and I actually really loved it. Not a lot of people enjoyed this tank, preferring the Mark IV over this one. So you don't see a lot of players with it anymore unless they are collectors like myself or just prefer this play style over the traditional medium gameplay of the Mark IV. Either way, that's a decision for you to make. You can get all those vehicles at a crazy discount. I might pick up the Valentine too and do a special tank review for that for Valentine's Day or for Valentine's Day weekend in World of Tanks. And I might also pick up this Matilda BP and do a video on that. If you guys haven't seen it or would like to see it, just let me know in the comments section below. And I'll do a comparison of all the vehicles regardless, depending on which one I get, just to help you guys decide which is more bang for your buck if you're new to the game and need a mid-tier premium vehicle. Of course, in my opinion, all of these are very strong and very good. You can't go wrong with picking any. And they all play kind of the same. Even the Valentine has a light tank at tier four, plays more like the Matilda than I would say the traditional light tank. And the armor on that vehicle is very good. So look out for those reviews or videos coming up shortly, probably tomorrow morning. As always, just subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and get notified. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I will be doing a BTSV video tonight and that'll probably go up tomorrow to show you guys that review. And I had a guy comment on one of my videos that I forgot to mention what the other three kind of alpha test tanks are. And real quick, this is a Valentine's Day, but let me show you. Because I did respond to him and tell him, but just so that way you guys can see so we're clear. It is the BTSV at Tier 3 Light Tank. The Panzer IV Hydrostat at Tier 4. And what makes this special is it's based off a historical vehicle with a hydraulic engine. Well, yeah, a steam engine, really. And then, of course, the M6A2E1. Nicknamed the Mutant, obviously if you look in the game or search for World of Tanks Mutant, you're not going to find it anywhere. That's his official name, but everybody calls it the Mutant. Basically, it's the Tier 6 M6 Heavy Tank, and they put a massive turret on it. Now, the profile armor-wise and gun-wise of this turret is pretty much just the T-34 at Tier 8. Just this mimics the actual test turret before the T-34 is actually entering into the prototype phase. But the gun is the same, the armor values are almost identical, view range is almost identical, and how you play it is almost identical. The only difference is this is much taller than the T-34 and has no armor on the sides of the vehicle, but does have an incredibly thick front plate there, which is really useful because if nobody's seen this tank, and even though it's been out a lot recently, so most people have learned how to play it, they will just assume that the whole hull of the whole hull, yeah, that is a tongue twister there, but that it's all balanced to be at tier six when in fact the frontal hull of this thing is balanced for tier eight quite properly and it will stop almost any rounds from going into it. Even this huge gap here is not a problem. It has a very strong turret ring, just like the T-34. So those are the alpha vehicles. I'll be making videos of all of them soon starting with this one as it is the newest one so watch out for those watch out for the valentine 2 video and possibly a black prince matilda black prince video in the future i'm just going to keep trying to make videos for you guys and if you enjoy them down the line just let me know and i'll keep making them but i think that does it for today so happy valentine's day and have a good valentine's day weekend in world of tanks hopefully i'll see some of you guys on the battlefield so thank you for watching and i will see you next time